Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the Daily Stock Market and look at that. We have an exciting article ahead of us. Now it is the weekend. It's Saturday. We typically don't do uploads on Saturday, but I wanted to bang out an extra video for you guys because you deserve it for all the love and support you've been showing on the YouTube and Instagram. So before we jump in, just make sure you're subscribed on YouTube for the full length videos. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit those post notifications so you're alerted anytime a new video comes out. Okay, so getting right into it, we have the top picks of the weekend, PayPal, Coinbase, DraftKings, and why Elon Musk, Tesla are facing their biggest challenges yet. Even though PayPal had a down week, after reporting earnings, analysts see a bright long-term future for the stock. Hershey's actually reported third quarter earnings and beat analyst expectations, and the stock's outlook looks even sweeter. Now, we're also going to have our regular scheduled program tomorrow on Sunday video. This is just an extra bonus video for the weekend, by the way. Okay, to start off the video, we see Twitter is Elon Musk's biggest test yet and Tesla's biggest challenge, how they'll make it work. This article goes over Tesla and the CEO, Elon Musk, owns Twitter. He's now facing the biggest challenge, which is managing the time between the two companies. And if we dive in a little bit deeper into that article, we can see that Elon Musk officially owns Twitter now. Of course, the main concern is around Tesla investors because Tesla is his main money maker and his main company. So will Musk be able to manage his time? And I think he will personally. I mean, look at what he's doing already and he's doing just a fine job. He has a lot to manage. People are always saying, oh, is Musk going to be able to manage this? Is Musk going to be able to manage that? Um, he's been doing great so far before Twitter came along. He's had to pay attention to Tesla, SpaceX, Boring Company, Neuralink. Um, so to add a fifth company, Elon Musk, it's probably nothing for him. This man is extraordinary, and I don't see him breaking anytime soon. Moving right along, we see PayPal stock is down, but Wall Street likes a long-term view. PayPal did have a down week on earnings re reporting, but analysts see a bright long-term future for the stock. I personally think there was also an overreaction to PayPal stock. You know, there was a probably a 10 to 15 percent downward movement on PayPal stock and they really didn't miss earnings by much. So that's definitely an overreaction on that specific earnings. And I'll definitely be buying the dip a little bit dollar cost averaging myself in. So if we talk about some price targets on PayPal, we can see that they were down 6.6 percent in the pre-market and they're down 12 percent just in the past week. Okay, a lot of people thought PayPal wouldn't be trading under $100 for long. Right now, it's trading at $75. So there is a big discount advantage right now. We saw an all-time low or of recent years, around $69 per share. And in my personal opinion, we'll probably see a five-year low again. So $69 per share is definitely achievable. But since 2018 and 2017 even, the lowest price we saw was $71 per share. So it's pretty much like hopping in a time machine, going back to 2017, 2016, and picking up some shares of PayPal under $100 per share. And ideally, I want to buy most of my shares under $70 per share into the $60 mark. So I think for my goals to buy at 65 between $65 and $69 per share will set up my account for long-term growth. I plan to hold PayPal for at least three years also. So I don't have a short-term mindset with PayPal. And I see that there's huge, huge growth potential. You know, this company could two to three X in the next three to five years. So if I can get 300% gains, even 200% gains in the next five years, I'm definitely going to be researching it a ton, and you should be too. Don't take this video at face value. Spend some time after the video diving into PayPal, what makes their business special, and if they can keep it growing. And more importantly, why PayPal stock price can keep increasing over the next couple of years. And I'll do a deep dive on the channel sometime soon. So make sure you subscribe with post notifications on so you don't miss that PayPal deep dive on the channel. So after PayPal, the this article goes over Hershey's stock had a strong year and earnings beat could push it even higher. By Emily, an analyst detailed Hershey's third quarter earnings report the week of Halloween that beat analyst expectations, adding to the stock's 
outlook is even sweeter. No pun intended. So in the next article, we saw DraftKings on pace for worst drop on record. EBITDA lost guidance. Disappointing, an analyst says. JPM analysts said DraftKings is trailing competitors in achieving profitability after the company reported earnings and the stock fell sharply 27% on Friday. So we'll dive into that in this video. But real quick, we can also see that Fidelity is launching crypto trading, what it means for Coinbase and Robinhood. This article really looks how Fidelity Investments plan for a cryptocurrency trading platform that could impact Coinbase and Robinhoods. Okay, so Fidelity, one of the most respected brokers in the world and in America especially, is thinking about opening its own crypto trading platform, which can be bearish for Coinbase and Robinhood. Okay, so that's an interesting article. But let's jump into DraftKings a little bit because it's kind of interesting with a 27% downward movement that we haven't even talked about yet. The stock's at $11 per share. It's almost a stock that's under $10 per share, and a lot of people definitely wouldn't have believed that a year ago. Okay, a year ago, we saw the stock price closer to $40 per share. We have a 72% downward movement. And just from the span of November 5th to May 11th, 2022, we saw a 73% downward movement. And what happens when we see DraftKings around $10 per share? We typically see an uprise of around 50%, well, around 40% to 100%. So even in the short term, if you're buying at $10 per share and have price targets around $10 per share, a good goal to sell could be $13 per share or higher which would automatically be around a 30% gain swing trade on DraftKings. I'm not saying that's exactly going to happen, and we'll definitely do a deep dive on DraftKings later on in the channel, but we can see right now that the uh, support and resistance, right now, DraftKings is closer to the support. However, the, downward mo uh, the momentum overall is downward. So it's a little bit risky. So DraftKings seems to be at the support right now and to play it up to around $13, $14 per share definitely seems possible. If you guys want a video where I go over the long-term outlook on DraftKings and more of a deep dive, let me know in the comments below or message me on Instagram showing some demand for DraftKings deep dives. So I hope you guys liked that quick weekend video on Saturday. Just a bonus video for you guys for showing so much love and support. And continue to show some love and support. Hit like, hit subscribe, share with your friends. And also if you want to get into the premium content where you can see what I'm buying, how much I'm buying, and everything in between, go ahead and hit success number six or hit success number five. Read through some of the recent success some of the students have been having from the program. And then message me on Instagram. That's as easy as it is. Just message me on Instagram and I'll send you an application to be a part of my close friends list. And if you do meet all the criteria, then I'll send you over my website. You can check out my website, see how much everything costs, see if it's inside your budget. And if it is, then let's go ahead and get everything started, making some money in the stock market. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for all the love and support. Subscribe with post notifications on, like the video, and I'll keep making these videos for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Make sure you have the alerts on so you're alerted as soon as it comes out tomorrow. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.